Okay. <laughs> Come on, Boo. This is for Simba. Let Simba have it. That's his. He don't feel good. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, Ditto, and Boo. The Lucky Pharaohs. It's 10 a.m. and the cats are eating their breakfast. They're having some of the new raw food that I got from the poultry farm. And this variety is chicken, turkey, and organ meats. So the only thing I had to mix in was some supplements. I also added a hard-boiled egg and fish oil and probiotics. So it seems that they like this one also. We got a late start today because we had thunderstorms roll in last night. And thunderstorms always wake me up. I also got to bed later than I wanted to. So the biggest issue that I have with this food is that it is so finely ground. I mean, this is what it looks like after I mix in um, like supplements and um, the fish oil and probiotics. I don't know if you could see, but it's just really, it's a really smooth consistency. And the food that I've been making for the cats has been chunkier. And the chunkier food is good for their mouth and for their teeth. So, you know, this is not something that I would be able to serve to them for every meal. Um, so where it is now, because I did buy two boxes of it, 20 pounds of it, they're going to get it like every other meal. So right now they've been getting it for breakfast and then yesterday I gave them homemade food for dinner. So that might be the route that I go until I use up the boxes. And then once I use up these two boxes, I'll decide whether I want to order more of this because it is really good quality. It's really good quality. The only issue that I have with it is that it doesn't have like enough chunks in it for the cats to really like sink their teeth into it. Here's Ziggy underneath the chair where I've been brushing her the past two days. Hi, Sammy. <laughs> and today I have this brush. This is the grooming brush. I just brushed Sammy, Nancy, and Richard. So let's see if, let's see if Ziggy will let me brush her with this. Ziggy, can I brush you? This will help get a lot of the loose hair off of Ziggy because when I've been petting her, you know, there's been a lot of shedding. There you go. I'm gonna attack it. This is metal. <laughs> hey, Sammy. Okay, I know it's not gonna be as comfortable near your head, but we gotta get all that loose hair off of you, okay? So, one thing that I've noticed with these cats is um, they don't seem to groom as much as the other cats do, which is a good thing because if, if I can't brush them or or like, hey Richard, or um, or pet them, if they were grooming themselves a lot, then there'd be a lot of hairballs and I don't want to jinx anything, but so far there haven't been any hairballs. It's, it's like this group of kittens has a completely different, um, almost like they have a completely different cat culture than the other cats do. Like, they have a completely different language than the other cats do. Their vocabulary is much greater than the vocabulary of the other cats as far as, like, cat speak. And obviously they sploot. The other cats don't sploot. And they don't groom themselves as much as the other cats groom themselves. Okay, you want me to give you a tummy? Do you a tummy? So this is the third day in a row that Ziggy is letting me brush her. Now, I have to brush her under the chair, but maybe eventually she'll let me brush her outside from under the chair. Don't eat that. Yeah, want this one? Okay, this is the one you like. But we did good, Ziggy. You let me brush you with the groomer.
So right now, it is the middle of July. And Ziggy first came inside at the end of October. She was the last cat to come inside. She, she, was, she was the last one that I was able to trap. So, wow, so it's been nine months. It's been nine months, Ziggy. It took nine months to be able to brush Ziggy. And to be able to pet her like I was able to pet her yesterday. Okay, we'll move that out. Move that one out. Can I pet you? Want some pets? Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want no pets? No pets. Maybe she's a little, maybe she's a little overstimulated by both brushes. Okay, you don't want the brush? You want the brush or no? No? And chew it. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Oh, you dropped it, Sammy. Here, one of them. Ziggy. Hey, Ziggy. Ziggy. Not Nancy. Ziggy. Ziggy. There you go. Goldie. Here. Goldie. 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 Here, and Sammy wants one. Here, Goldie. Here. Yeah. I don't know what's the matter with Goldie today. Ringo. Ringo, you want one? Where's Eva? Where's little Eva? Eat that. I just portioned out the cat food for the kittens and realized what this food reminds me of. So the consistency of this food is almost identical to refried beans. If you've ever had refried beans, this, that is like the texture of this food. So six of the seven cats are eating their food. I don't know why Goldie is not eating. Yesterday with the turkey patties, they only finished probably about two thirds of the food that was on the platter. And then I ended up throwing out what was left. It sat there all day. Nobody went back to finish it. So they weren't the biggest fans of the turkey. It looks like they like this variety better. And I'll see what they do. If they leave any on the plates, I'll just sprinkle a little bit of Fortiflora on it. And then hopefully someone will go back and finish it. I don't know what's going on with Goldie. Maybe she doesn't feel good today. She didn't want to eat a treat. And usually she loves treats. So I'm just going to keep her under observation, see what's going on with her. Goldie's usually very food motivated, so it's kind of odd that she's not eating. But she is sitting close to everybody, so that's a good sign. Because usually if a cat really doesn't feel good, it'll be like off hiding somewhere. Maybe she just has an upset stomach. 
After everyone's done, I'll see if I could give her like a churu and see if she eats that because her favorite food is like baby food or like squeeze ups. All right, so I'll be back. So this is what's left of that food. They hardly ate any of it. Maybe they ate a fourth of it, not even. So I just sprinkled some Fortiflora on it. And now Ziggy's eating some and little Eva's eating some. I don't know if Goldie's going to eat any. Ringo might go eat some. I opened the door to upstairs, so Richard and Nancy are upstairs right now. Sammy is by a window. Goldie's still over there. I'll wait until they're done, then I'll see if Goldie wants to squeeze up or a churu or something. It's 12.15 p.m. And here's Ziggy. She's hanging out by the back door. This is one of her favorite places. She must see a bug. Let me show you what else is going on right now. Here is Richard. He's hanging out by the gate to Boo's room. And there's Splash. Do you see Splash? And Splash is not just sitting there. Look at his arm. He has his arm outstretched toward Richard. To me, that's a good sign. First of all, I think it's a good sign that Splash has just been sitting here with Richard. Maybe they're getting to know each other a little bit. And the fact that he has his arm stretched out like that, I think that's really good. So today, Splash and Stella are in Boo's room. Stella's underneath the day sofa. And Boo and Simba are in my room. And this is what they chose. I don't tell them what rooms to go in. I go downstairs, get the cats fed, clean up from breakfast. And then I say, okay, where are the cats at? And sure enough, today, this is where they're at. So you could see that Simba's very comfortable here. There are some bird videos on the TV. The window's open, there's a nice breeze. Boo is in the cat tower, relaxing. So right now all the cats are happy. Here's Richard, he's still watching Splash just from a little farther distance. Maybe if I start doing something, he'll go back to the door. Hey Splashy, how are you? You're looking handsome today, Splash. So I just gave the cat some treats and Stella came out and Splash came near the gate. And here's Nancy and Sammy. They're afraid of that one. You want that one? And here's Richard. Here you go. Hey, Splash. Here you go. Who wants these? So there's Richard eating a treat near the gate. Who's going to get that one? Stella's hissing because she's mad. She's mad it's on this side of the gate. She's growling. Here, Stella. Stella! There's some treats on their side. Eat it, Richard. Here, eat that. Splash is watching. Stella's watching. There goes Splash. It's very brave of him. He's looking at Richard. Growling. Eat your treat, Splashy. He's looking at Sammy and Nancy. Eat your treat, Splashy. There's a nice breeze here because the window in Boo's room is open and the window in the living room is open. So there's some nice cross ventilation happening. Look at these two. Hey Splash. Splash. 
So this is what I'm doing. I'm leaving some treats on this side of the gate and on the other side of the gate. So whoever wants them can be brave and come get them. There's Nancy. Is she going to eat all of them? Is she going to stick her paw through the gate to get the other one? She's thinking about it. Here goes Richard. Splash is watching. And there we go. There's the brave one. Nancy ate all four of the treats. She's going to try to eat the others. I fully expect her to put her paw through the gate to try to get to the other ones. There we go. <laughs> Is she going to get it? The gate is really close to the floor. I didn't leave any gaps underneath it. Splash is watching her. Where's Richard? He's purring so loud. Nancy definitely acts like the mom of the bunch, like she's the provider for the cats. She's the one that always meows and howls for food and then once they get it, she's quiet. She meows and howls for toys. Once I put them on, then she's quiet. And Ringo acts like the dad of the bunch, if that makes any sense. He's always more kind of on the outskirts of the group, just like watching and making sure everything is okay. Ziggy's watching Splash from over here. She's looking at Splash. Maybe Ziggy and Splash will get along good. Good job, Nancy. Just be nice, okay? Be nice to the cat. Richard wants a million pets today. Look at Splash. Hey, Splash. It's 2.30 p.m. and I just made Simba some churu soup. So this is a purple churu with one or two tablespoons of water mixed in. The reason why I'm giving it to him is because he threw up today. First he vomited his breakfast on the floor and then, after I cleaned that up, I went outside, I did some yard work for a while, I came back inside, and then he vomited liquid on the bed, which is why um, the first two layers of bedding are in the wash right now. Look at Come on, boo, this is for Simba. Let Simba have it. That's his, he don't feel good. He has an upset stomach, not you. So... When I came back inside, um, Simba had vomited some liquid on the bed. There is a water bowl in this room, and at one point I did see him drinking some liquid after he threw up, which is good because I want him to drink some liquid, which is why I just made him some churu soup. 
I'm here with a new toy for the cats. This is Whack-A-Mole Smart Cat Toy. I bought this on Amazon for them. I got it on Prime Day, so it was on sale. The reason why I bought it is because they have been absolutely loving this electronic cat toy so much that I have two of these. I have one upstairs and one downstairs and all the cats in the house really enjoy it. I also have two of these Smarty Cat electronic cat toys. Again, one upstairs, one downstairs because the cats enjoy this so much. This is another cat toy that I have two of, one upstairs, one downstairs. The cats really enjoy this one. And so I thought, why not get another one and see how much they like that. So this is what comes in the box. We have the cat toy. We also have the USB charging cable. And this is a game changer. All of these electronic toys should be USB rechargeable. It's just a million times better than having to constantly refill them with batteries. And then this also has some replacement tips, which is good because the cats will sometimes pull the toy out or just you know demolish it and then at least now I have some replacement tips so let's open this up so this is what the toy looks like and I believe there's already a little bit of a charge on it so there's a switch on the bottom let's turn it off So what's nice about this one is that it has holes along the top, but then it also has holes like on the side. So it's like on the bottom and then on the top. So it holds their interest a little bit more. And it seems to be a bit random in how it pokes out. It's also fairly quiet, which is nice too. It's 11.45 a.m. Look at what's going on here. Nancy and Ziggy are sharing a cat tower. I think they're watching butterflies or moths outside. And there's Richard. Richard. 